Assalamu alaikum I am Sajad and today we are going to discuss what is continuous wet granulation system or what is closed system for wet granulation or what is inline equipment installation system for wet granulation I am Sajad and you are watching Pharma Inform if you have not subscribed my channel first of all subscribe Pharma Inform so let's start our video Everyone of you is familiar with wet granulation, so we will not go into detail of wet granulation. If you want to learn all about wet granulation, the link of playlist is given in description. So from where you can watch all the equipments and procedures and steps of wet granulation which are used conventionally in pharmaceutical industries. But the closed granulation system is advanced concept in which all equipments are interconnected with each other and we start one step and go toward other by using pneumatic system or vacuum transfer system this is the closed system and it ensure more adherence to the gmp and other regulatory bodies so let's have a overview i try to draw the equipment's diagram these are very basic and rough diagram so focus on the concept not on the writing or on the diagrams so in wet granulation, as we know that the first step is weighing. So we weigh on the weighing balance all the excipients and API and the next main step is the pre-sieving. So for pre-sieving, we use a sifter known as vibro sifter. We add our materials into the reservoir tank of the vibro sifter by using pneumatic system. Through the pneumatic conveying system, our materials from container are shifted to the Hopper of the vibro sifter. This this pipe is basically pneumatic transfer pipe. Through this pipe, by using suction system, our ingredients from the container are transferred to the hopper of vibro sifter, and from there, our material is shifted to the sieving chamber of the vibro sifter. And after sieving, the material is received into the collection container this is basically a second port of the vibro sifter for overflow so after sieving our material is sieved in the container and from this container by using same system of pneumatic transferring we transfer our sieved material through a pipe into the rapid mixing granulator or into the high shear mixer so first step weighing second step sieving and third step is pre-mixing so after transferring all the sieved material into the rapid mixing granulator we perform our pre-mixing step so after pre-mixing step we have kneading or wet granulation main step in which we add binder or solvent solution to the pre-mix material for this we use transfer pumps by using a spraying system so in this we use transfer pipe for binder transfer from a container this container contain binder solution and using peristaltic pump we transfer this binder solution to the rapid mixing granulator and from this place it is sprinkled over the moving powder so our kneading or wetting step take place the next step is basically wet sieving so our kneading step is when completed we open the discharging chute of the rapid mixing granulator and transfer our wet mass to the wet mill and after wet sieving our wet mass or wet, wet granules are transferred through a pipe into the fluidized bed drive the next step is basically drying so our sieved wet sieved material is transferred by a pneumatic conveying system to the fluidized bed dryer you can clearly watch from the diagram that there is no open contact from starting of the material till the drying process all the system is closed and interconnected with each other we are using transferring pipe system pneumatic system so there is no contact of our product with the atmosphere so after complete discharging of our product from rmg to fbd our drying process take place in fbd when the required level of 
LOD is achieved we transfer our dried granules through this discharging port by using same pneumatic transfer system to a multi mill or co mill where our granules or dried granules are sieved basically after drying we have dry sieving process so this step is the dry sieving process where the system is closed and our wet dry granules are continuously supplied from dryer to the co mill or multi mill and after sieving these materials are collected into the blender or mixer if you have movable bin blender then you can insert or place your bin blender below the co mill so sieve material is collected into the bin blender and if you have fixed double cone blender then from co mill the pipe is transferred to the double cone mixer and material is shifted from after sieving from co mill to the double cone mixer and when the shifting from co mill to the blender is completed if it is bin blender we remove it from the co mill and affix it with with its attachment and complete our next and last step which is the final blending so after completion of final blending we discharge the product from the blow discharging port into the containers and our product or granules are ready for the compression so i tried my best to give a brief description regarding advanced levels of closed system use for granulation do comment in the comment box if you are if you are using this system in your pharmaceutical industry if you have any confusion do ask in the comment box so for a brief overview in closed system we shift our material from container to the vibro sifter for sieving from vibro sifter it is shifted after sieving into container from container into the rapid mixing granulator after wetting it is shifted through the wet mill into the fbd and from fbd it is transferred to the multi mill and after sieving it is collected into the bin blender or double cone mixer and after shifting into the bin blender it is affixed with its attachment and the blending or final blending process is completed and after final blending we discharge our product into containers and our wet granulation process is completed do subscribe my channel and share with this video to others and till the next video allah hafiz you can visit farmandfarm.com for more interesting articles